Hello friends, so this is another question on uh, Zener diode. So here we are again with uh, another Zener diode circuit. So here as you can see the voltage, uh, the input voltage, it is variable and uh, the range of variation is from 80 volt to 120 volt. Okay, so variable source and the load resistance it is fixed at 10 kilo ohm so this circuit here is a variable source fixed load type or variable input fixed load type here we have to find out the minimum and maximum zener current okay the values are given the series resistance value is equal to 5 kilo ohm the Zener breakdown voltage is equal to 50 volt, the load resistance equal to 10 kilo. So here, first we have to determine the state of the diode. As the series resistance value and load resistance value is given, it is a very good choice to determine the state of the Zener diode. Because both these values are given, we can apply voltage division rule. So for both cases, for 80 volt and 120 volt, we'll do it. So first for 80 volt case. So 5 kilo ohm, we will open circuit it. Then the load resistance, 10 kilo ohm. Let's find this voltage, the voltage across these two terminals across which the Zener diode is connected. So this V is equal to 80 into 10, the voltage across this 10 kilo ohm resistor by 5 plus 10, which is 80 into 10 by 15. So if we calculate it, it's side by 15. So it is 53.33 volt, okay. So this is greater than the breakdown voltage which is 50 volt. So in this case also it is on, the other diode is on. So obviously in the 120 volt case also it will be on so let us determine in that case also when the voltage is equal to 120 volt in that case it would be 120 into 10 by 15 so in that case it is 80 volt so 80 volt is also greater than 50 volt so obviously when it is on with 80 volts, so it will be on with 120 volt. No need to calculate it, but in both cases it is on. So next step is to find out the minimum and maximum Zener current. So here one thing you always remember, the Zener current or the current flowing through the Zener diode IZ is directly related with the input voltage input voltage variations. So when the input or source is variable in that case, when the input voltage goes up, the Zener current also goes up. And when the input voltage goes down, the Zener current also goes down. So when the input voltage is minimum, least value in that case it will correspond with the minimum value of Zener current and when the input voltage is maximum that will correspond with the maximum value of Zener current that is minimum value of Zener current will occur at minimum value of input voltage maximum value of Zener current will occur at maximum value of input voltage. So here if we want to determine the minimum Zener current we have to consider the minimum voltage input voltage which is 80 volt so
80 volt in that case it is how much 5 kilo ohm this is the zener voltage which is equal to 50 volt I am replacing it with its equivalent circuit then we have the load resistance which is equal to 10 kilo ohm so this is V i min in that case there will be I z min minimum value of zener current this is the current flowing from the source the voltage and this is the load current so in that case okay the load current I l okay in that case the load current I l will be first 50 volt by 10 kilo ohm why because the 50 volt voltage will appear across the load so it will be 5 milliampere. Next we have to determine this current flowing through the series resistor. So when we apply KVL in this direction it is 80 minus 5i minus 50 is equal to 0. That implies 5i is equal to 30 that implies i is equal to how much 30 by 5 which is equal to 6 milliampere because it is volt and kilo ohm volt by kilo ohm is milliampere unit of voltage is in volts resistor is in kilo ohms so this current is equal to 6 milliampere the load current is equal to 5 milliampere so when we apply KCL at this node when we apply KCL here i is equal to iz min plus il that implies iz min or the minimum value of zener current is equal to i minus il which is equal to 6 minus 5 milliampere which is equal to 1 milliampere okay so the minimum value of Zener current is equal to 1 milliampere. Okay, this this corresponds to the minimum value of input voltage which is 80 volt. This is the first one. Next we have to determine the maximum value of Zener current. So the maximum value of Zener current will correspond to the maximum value of input voltage which is 120 volt. So we will replace it, we will uh, redraw the circuit. So in this case it is 120 volt, the maximum value Vi max, then the series resistance which is equal to 5 kilo ohm, the equivalent circuit of the Zener diode in breakdown mode Vz is equal to 50 volt then we have the load resistance which is equal to 10 kilo ohm so here also in this case we will draw the notations the same approach first we have to determine the load current which is same because the load resistor is fixed 50 volt by 10 kilo ohm is equal to 5 milliampere. Here, I will be, you know, it will change because the input voltage has changed. So, when we apply KVL in this direction, it will be 120 minus 5I minus Vz, which is equal to 50, is equal to 0 that implies 5i is equal to 120 minus 50 which is equal to 70 that implies i is equal to 70 by 5 which is equal to 14 milliampere okay i is equal to 14 milliampere so here when we apply kcl at this node again 
here i is equal to iz max the maximum value of zener current plus the load current load current is equal to 5 milliampere i is equal to 14 milliampere so iz max or the maximum value of zener current is equal to 14 minus 5 milliampere which is equal to 9 milliampere so iz max equals to 9 milliampere okay so this is the solution so again here in this circuit it was a bit different the source or the input voltage was variable in between two extreme points minimum 80 volt maximum 120 volt so that had a, you know an effect on the zener current minimum zener current flowing in case of minimum voltage maximum zener current flowing in case of maximum input voltage so depending on that the source current current flowing through the series resistors and the zener current that changed the load current was fixed because the load resistance was fixed and the zener breakdown voltage in both the cases was also the same because it will always remain the same that is the purpose of the zener diode so accordingly we determined the various uh, parameters associated with the circuit and we calculated the results okay